Time to go to Geo Woodstock. Alright, let me just uh, look up the coordinates here. Alrighty. Let that calculate for a minute. Come on, come on, I'm busy. Ah, here we go. Alright, here we go. Route info 1,107 miles, 17 hours, and 9 minutes. Something must be wrong here. Let me let me look at this again. Nope, those coordinates are correct. Texas? Fort Worth? I was there last September. Why didn't anybody tell me? I could have waited. Well, considering the event started like two minutes ago, I don't think I'm going to make it this year. Might as well go to my own event. But uh, first we're going to need some snacks. What have I got in here? Hey, this ought to do the trick. So, yeah, I got cupcakes for the people at my event. Yeah, I bet you you wish you hadn't gone to Texas now, don't you? Yeah, that'll learn you. Ah, who am I kidding? I mean, this is good. Don't get me wrong. But you know what? I need something else for this event besides just cupcakes. I need something, something big, something exciting, something ridiculous and totally unexpected that no one is going to expect to see at this event. If only I could think of something. Get in. We're going to catch it. Bingo. We're gonna do a little tour of the inside now. Uh, why don't you show them this uh, state-of-the-art entertainment center we've got over here? We got the TV right here. And then we got the bar. Got some candies up top there. Got plenty of storage, plenty of glasses. Got some so otherwise, this is the ultimate caching vehicle. <laughs> I feel like uh, Kevin McAllister in Home Alone 2 right now. All we need is some Coke, a uh, Grinch playing on the TV, and a cheese pizza. <laughs> Alright, so we are finally on our way to the event. We're going to be about 10 minutes late. We're going to be fashionably late. Uh, hopefully there's a lot of people there. In fact, knowing this group of people, I wouldn't be surprised if they got there like half an hour early and they're wondering where we are. So uh, this should be good. Yeah, we don't need that event. It's not that special. <laughs> Everybody, tell tell the internet people that you're having way more fun here than Woodstock. Woo! Yeah. 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 This is yeah. amazing. All the cool, all the cool people are here. <laughs> And puppies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go off and find some caches. We have a full limo. Okay, which one? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 I don't know if they're Travis, right. which one first? What, whatever. Okay. Whichever one he's comfortable driving to. Giddy you you went the wrong way if you're going to the cemetery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think they want to get the one that's down here. There's one on the guardrail up here. No guardrail. Al's with us? Yes, Al's with us. <laughs> Who is that out there? I can't see. <laughs> Go get it, Bill. <laughs> you can't find it. 
<laughs> All right. There we go. First limo cache. cache. <laughs> first limo find. First limo find of a cache. No, first cache we found with a limo. Got it. Not mine. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, yours. Okay. Look, here comes a semi. <laughs> Ready? Sneaky. <laughs> We never would have found that one. What do you guys think Seven. of this experience? I think it's stuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I didn't tax it. I wish I was. I didn't blow it away in Texas. <laughs> Oh, well, this, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done with caching, for sure. <laughs> Riding out of a limo? Right? Yeah. Caching out of a limo. He's not going down a dirt road with I don't think so. Yeah. You actually are going down a dirt road? <laughs> that dirt, Jerry. Mom, we got company. He is going down the dirt he road. He is going down the dirt road. Oh, boy. Well, he probably could. Yeah, when he turned watch. the corner, he was committed, probably. Going to number six? Very light. Going down a dirt road in a limo. <laughs> Only geocachers would do this. Jerry <laughs> didn't tell you that you got to wash it when we get done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now we're at the next cache in the cemetery. Look at this. Look at these geocachers that took the boring way here in a pickup truck. That's boring. Boring. We're not good enough. Yeah. Where's the cache? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Into the poison stuff. What was it? Al, it needs maintenance. <laughs> No, just poison them. Oh, people are <laughs> Totally, totally normal thing. You still your stamp out? Hold on. Oh. Oh, oh, teaspoon. I'm going around here. Oh, I was going to let you in right here, but. Oh, no. Should have went for the four move drive. <laughs> Who's pushing? The travelers. Who's idea was just to Well, at least Pete's not driving. He's stuck by now.
So I think that's going to do it for today. This is probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever done while geocaching. Big thanks to 3B Team uh, for making this all happen. A little bit of context on this. Um, we didn't rent this limo. He bought it because he plans to start a business eventually, you know, kind of like uh, uh, weddings and proms and stuff like that. So that's why we're in the limo today, you know, because if you get something like this, you just have to take it geocaching. I mean, would you agree? Oh, yeah. So I hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> There's a bunch of them there already. No, I don't see any. There's a truck right there. That's, Isn't that Wranglers? That's Wranglers. <laughs> we look at him and go, see, you could have done this right. <laughs> Hell no. You yeah, you had to do it the boring you. way. Yeah. <laughs> go in your stupid dot floor by floor. We'll take the limo. <laughs>